Hi Church, the NECF has joined the worldwide evangelical body to call three days of an Esther fast and three days of repentance from 28th, 29th to the 30th. Even if you cannot do an Esther fast, I'm going to encourage all of you who want to ask God to come in and help us to really fast at least one meal and to go into your room and to begin to cry out to God for forgiveness of sins. All of us who have sought the Lord begin to realize that this season is really a season about the people of God who has not honored Him nor treated Him as He should deserve. It is indeed a very grievous time and the only person that can forgive us our sins and heal our land is really God Himself. 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, when I, send a, when I close up the heavens and there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my, my people, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, be so broken before Him, realize all that we have done that has not been pleasing to Him, and pray and seek His face, and turn, turn, not just be sorrowful, but turn, be deeply anguished in our heart from our wicked ways. Then, only then, can God hear our prayers and He will listen to our prayers, forgive us of our sins and heal the land. This is the call right now. I'm just going to give you some chapters of the Bible that you can read and then I'm going to go to prayer of repentance. Read up the whole of Isaiah 58 in the message version to understand what this season of fasting is about. Read also Revelation chapter 3, the church at Laodicea, I think it's verse 14 to 21. Honestly, we as a church today, we are proud, we are arrogant, we think we are rich, we think we are self-sufficient, we don't have any need of God. Read up the whole of James chapter 4, the way we criticize each other, we jostle with each other, we judge each other, we have jealous over each other, we compete. It brings so much grief to God that, that, to be honest, I don't even know how to repent. I don't even know how to repent. Because our sins have reached the heavens. I really don't know how to repent. We have to ask God to teach us how to repent. Repentance cannot be from our lips alone. Jeremiah says, we can repent with pretense and God does not hear. It has to be so heartfelt, so that's why we have to go into a season where we shut off our, our Facebook, shut off all this distraction from the world. This is a shut-in period. God is giving us the grace to repent. God is not asking that you're shut in and then you do your own thing. It's a time to seek the Lord and to seek Him with all our hearts, for it breaks God's heart. Father Lord, we have truly broken your heart, O Lord God. I don't even know how to repent because I realize I'm sinful, I'm rebellious, I'm hardened in heart. When I ask you, Lord, what is it that has broken your heart? There's so many. It's so hard for you to even identify just one. The sins of the church, the sins of the people of God are many. We do not treat you as you should. We do not honor you. We do not fear you. We treat you as dirt and then when we need help, we cry out to you and we expect you to answer our prayers immediately. Why should you answer our prayers immediately when we never even pay attention to you for all these years? Oh Lord God, we pray for your forgiveness. We've been so arrogant, we've been so easily judgmental of one another. We find fault with each other, but we cannot even see our own sins. I cannot see my own sins. And when someone tells me I'm like this or I'm like that, I tend to fight back. But Lord God, they can see it, but I can't see it. Would you give us grace to see the sin of the church? We've been so busy trying to serve you, but we have not been busy trying to seek you, Lord, and to seek out of your heart, oh Lord God. So Father Lord, I just want to pray the prayer of Psalm 51. Oh Lord God, even as David prayed, have mercy on me, O God. I'm reading from it, praying from the NLT version. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on us, O God. 
because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. Blot out the stain of our sins, Lord. Wash us clean from our guilt. Purify us from our sin. For I recognize my rebellion, not even respecting you, not honoring you, not treating you seriously. It haunts me day and night, Lord. Against you and you alone have I sinned. We have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say and your judgments against us is just. For we were born a sinner. Yes, for a moment my mothers con- our mothers conceived us, but you desire honesty from the womb, teaching us wisdom even there. Purify us, O Lord, in this Lent Easter season and we will be clean. Wash us and be whiter than snow. Give us back our joy again. Your brokenness, O Lord God. We cannot bear to see the thousands, thousands dying, O Lord God. The thousands that are dying, O Lord God. We have no compassion even from the dying. We have never even realized how terrible it is. Those who die without Jesus. Those who die without Jesus, O Lord God. Don't keep looking at our sins. Remove the stain of our guilt. Create in us a clean heart, O oh God. We need a loyal spirit within us. Father, we need a clean heart. We need a new heart. We do not want to come out of this virus plague situation and have exactly the same heart, an uncaring heart, a heart that doesn't grieve when men die, Lord. A renew, a clean heart. Do not banish us from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from us, O oh Lord God. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. Make us willing to obey you. Make us willing to obey you. Help us to start reading the Bible to find out why we have not obeyed you, where we have not obeyed you, where I have not obeyed you. Even the falsehoods that I put on, then I will teach your ways to rebels and they will return to you. Forgive us for shedding blood, O God, who saves. Then we will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Unseal our lips, O God, that our mouths may praise you. For you do not desire a sacrifice or we would have offered it. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and a repentant heart, O God. Look with favour on your church, Lord. Help us. Help her, Lord. Help your church, Lord, rebuild the walls of the cities and of our nations, Lord. Then you'll be pleased with sacrifice offered in the right spirit and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings will be sacrificed again. Father, forgive us. Sometimes we call a sin not a sin. 1 John 1, 8 says, when we call a sin not a sin, then the truth is not in us. Sometimes we, when you tell us it is a sin, and we say it is not, we have not sinned, then we call you to be a liar. But if we confess our sins and agree with you that what you call sin is sin, then, oh Lord God, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all our sins and our unrighteous ways. Because He who you will do it, you're faithful, Lord. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to heal us and cleanse us from unrighteousness. All our righteousness are like filthy rags right now. None of us are righteous. No, not one. That's why you're justified when you speak. Go into your room, spend more time. Use this time to just pray as a family. Pray especially for the sick and the dying. Pray that we might also help the poor. Help pray for the frontliners. Pray for governments. Do not criticize them. Pray for them. It's a time to pray and to repent. We have not prayed. We have not prayed enough. God forgive us. Thank you. Thank you for listening.